guys thanks for checking in this is rc drone club here hope you enjoying your h501s this is my so guys this is my second video on the range test series my last video was range test on the stock condition that was version 1121 and with the stock antennas and i got was 450 meters on the stock conditions so this is my second video and I have upgraded the firmware to the super flyer that is 1.1.22 double one double two on the X4 and 429 on the transmitter and with the stock antennas so this video will be on the super flyer firmware on the X4 and uh, stock antennas so i'm going to, i'm doing these tests guys to figure out the best combination of the firmware and the antennas which will give me maximum range in this i just have put the stock antennas out of the transmitter as you can see and we'll see what range this combination gives so stock antennas plus super flyer double one double two on the x4 and four to nine on the transmitter so let's see guys let me fly here and uh, i have low uh, memory today in my camera so uh, let me first start this drone uh, set up the camera and all the things and i will fly so catch you guys in a minute so guys i have already started off as you can see I have told you before uh, that I don't have enough memory on my camera to record the whole video from the start so sorry for that I have just started off and uh, X4 is already too far it's uh, now 850 yes I guess 860 meters in the distance with the super flyer on the X4 and stock antennas only the stock antennas are out of the transmitter as you can see so uh, it's uh, 150 meter altitude with uh, I guess it's not visible FPV is going FPV is not that good let me turn it around yes FPV is not good so 800 meters and FPV is on yes 933 I have 933 meters and F I think I have bad FPV above 800, 947 yes so now FPV is bit clear FPV is not good after 800 so yeah I think I have lost the control it's now coming back what happened here I think I have lost control and it automatically triggered uh, return to home mode I guess RTH is down and it's automatically triggered it's coming back yes 8 890 no yeah regain control yes I think at that moment it just lost the signal now it's again yeah it gained the regain 9 uh, uh, 10 meters I can see yes 911 911 meters on these conditions I have just did the RTH I'm afraid it uh, won't again I am afraid that it will lose the signal again so coming back I have did the RTH so 900 meters guys that was the maximum on this combination with 154 meter altitude yes now it's all coming back 800 and uh, yes it's coming back 772 I have did RTH on the 900 meters guys so I I came to the conclusion that uh, 900 meters I have achieved on the stock antennas with the upgraded firmware to the super flyer so super flyer brings me boom 400 meters more so as you can see it's RTH let me set the camera yes return home it's coming back now from 900 meters so this combination is pretty good the stock antennas with the super flyer 900 meters good combination so it's all coming back as you can see now so it's good it's good 
सो गाइज माई नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी आई विल बी अपग्रेडिंग माई एंटेना एंड टू पॉइंट फोर की का हार्ड एंटेना आई विल बी अपग्रेडिंग दैट एंटेना एंड विल सी वट आई कैन गेट विद द अपग्रेड एंटेना एंड विद दिस सुपर फ्लायर सो फार नाउ विद द स्टॉक एंटेनाज एंड ओनली अपग्रेडेड फ्रॉम वेयर आई हैव गॉट नाइन हंड्रेड मीटर्स so i will see what i will get when i will upgrade the antenna so i will see uh, in the next uh, video i will be upgrading my 2.4 gigahertz because i believe the fpv 5.8 gigahertz is the the stock 5.8 gigahertz fpv is the best i am not upgrading that for dbi that's that, that that's just crap uh, i believe the stock fpv is the best and i will just upgrade 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna and we'll see uh, what this upgraded antenna gives me with the super flyer uh, from there so guys thanks for watching this was my video uh, with the super flyer and the stock antenna 900 meters this company Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.